Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the hard drive in a 2008-2009 MacBook Air with the OWC Mercury Aura Pro solid state drive. We've already backed up our data to an external drive, shut down, unplugged, and placed the MacBook Air on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the MacBook Air over. On the bottom, you'll find 10 Phillips screws. First, remove the center two screws along the hinge edge. These two are longer than the remaining eight. Next, remove the two mid-size screws in the corners along the hinge side. You can then remove the six remaining screws, which are smaller. Once all the screws have been removed, you can lift off the back plate. The drive is located in this area. Disconnect the port connector by lifting up on the little tab. Then, disconnect the drive connector by lifting straight up on it. You may want to use a nylon pry tool to do so. Next, carefully extract the microphone cable from the routing clips on the side of the drive. Take care not to damage the cable. There's a small plastic cover hiding one of the screws. Simply lift up on it to remove it. There are four Phillips screws holding the drive assembly in. The first is the one you just revealed. The second screw is located here. The third screw is located here. The fourth and final screw is located under the data cables near the fan. You should now be able to slide the drive free of the MacBook Air. With the Mercury Aura Pro MBA, there's also a ribbon cable. You'll notice that the connector on one side of the ribbon cable matches up with the connector on the SSD. Attach these two pieces together. Also in the package will be two adhesive pads. Peel off the backing on one of the sides and attach them to the Aura Pro so that the tips barely stick out over the edge. Once they're attached, you may remove the backing from the other side and proceed with the installation. Slide the Mercury Aura Pro into place. And attach its ribbon connector to its spot on the logic board. Then, reattach the port connector the same way. Route the microphone cable underneath the white plastic tabs from the Aura Pro to hold it in place. You may now replace the cover by sliding these tabs under the front edge, then laying it into place. Install the two longest screws in the center holes along the hinge side. The next two longest go in the corners. Finally, replace the six remaining screws. You may now flip your MacBook Air over, attach the external drive you backed up to, and power up. Mm -hmm. 